Hey guys! In today's video, we'll be going over an easy way to memorize bond angles and polarity of Vesper shapes. To begin, let's write out a list of numbers. First, we will write out 2 0, 3 0, 4 0, 5 0, and 6 0. These will be our main rows, with the left side re representing the number of bonding pairs, and the right side the number of lone pairs. To know how many rows to add under each main row, subtract the left side's number by 2. So the row 2, 0 will have no additional rows under it, since 2 minus 2 is 0. But the row 3, 0 will have one more row underneath it. For the rows underneath the main rows, subtract 1 from the left side and add 1 onto the right. So in the first row under the main row 3, 0, we will have 2, 1. If we write this out for every main row, we get this pattern. Now 6, 0 is the only exception to the minus 2 rule. Here, we stop after 2 rows after the main row. Now let's write in our bond angles. For this method to work, you will need to memorize the bond angles of one of the main rows, which is filled in like this. Note that these angles generally get smaller as they move down the chart. Also, remember that trigonal bipyramidal has two bond angles, an equatorial and axial angle. From there, bring down the same bond angle under each secondary row of the main row, if it has one, and add an additional less than sign for each row. Now, there are three exceptions to this rule, which is shown by the blank spaces. To remember where these exceptions are, just note that they exist where other exceptions have been located, since the 5-0 row is where you anyways had the two bond angles, and the 6-0 row is where the minus 2 rule for the following rows does not work. For the row 3-2, it's less than less than 90 one Lee, while 2-3 is 180, and the row 4-2 is one Lee 90, with no less than signs. The reason why this method works is because the more electrons you are adding to the molecule, Generally, the smaller the bonds between the angles become, since the electrons begin to repel one another. The exceptions you stated are also connected to its shape, with the row 2, 3 getting us 180 degrees, because that represents a linear shape. As for polarity, just remember that all the shapes with no lone pairs will be nonpolar. This means all our main rows are nonpolar. The only exceptions are the exceptions we already know, specifically the rows 2, 3, and 4, 2. You can remember this by noting that these are the only secondary rows without a less than sign. Therefore, all the remaining rows are polar. I hope this video helped you to use an easy way to memorize bond angles and polarity of Vesper shapes.